Hey guys, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchie. So I wanted to do a follow-up video from the post I just did because I've gotten a lot of questions, um, especially from new people um, getting into the business saying, wait a minute, um, so if I buy a dog with papers, I can't breed them. So let me clarify two things. Number one, when you buy a dog, um, a breeder will say, do you want pet price or full, full rights? Now, both of those dogs will be AKC registered more than likely, um, but it's limited registration when you're talking about buying pet only, which means that you, um, excuse me, that, that you do not have the right to breed that dog. You are not buying breeding rights. You're using that dog strictly as a pet and you um, are agreeing to get that dog spayed and neutered. And most people have a spay and neuter contract where they won't even give you any of the paperwork or anything until you show proof of spay or neuter. Some people even um, will um, charge you extra and then give you back if you, when you spay and neuter. So um, that is... The difference between that's pet price okay so that means you're just wanting a french bulldog as a pet you're not going going to breed now full rights means that you are purchasing full breeding rights on a dog so you get akc full registration which means that number will not be blacked out when you get your akc paperwork so that way you can breed that dog uh, what really bothers me is when people buy a pet, uh, buy a dog with pet rights, um, and then they decide that they want to breed the dog to like their friend's dog and then sell them. And you know, I'm not doing this as a job, but just doing it for fun. That is still very unethical. Um, it is against our contract rules and actually will void our contract and that dog can come back to us with no refund to you. Um, it is really sh a really shitty thing to do. Um, and again, it is not the agreement. Um, so, and it's really, that's kind of how the term backyard breeder um, originated because it's people without dogs that are registered or health tested and they're doing it just for fun or oops, um, she got pregnant or my sister has a dog. I don't care, it's wrong. So if you plan on breeding a dog, make sure that you are buying full breeding rights, okay? Also make sure that that breeder is fully prepared to mentor you, especially if you are a new breeder. Um, so that is the difference. We sell majority, 90% of our dogs with full rights. Every now and then, like um, I just sold Stormy as a pet price because she was gonna be so small, I didn't want anyone to be breeding her. Um, so I only offered her as pet price only as I as I saw how small she was going to be. And she did go to an amazing pet home. Um, and so that's the only time that we typically do that. Um, so otherwise we do sell to a lot of breeders. I also wanted to point out, I'm wearing my Frenchie Disney sweatshirt from Ava's Bully Boutique, my daughter's uh, online store. Go on Instagram, Ava's Bully Boutique. She'll make you one. She also has t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. So. Thank you guys for letting me clarify that. Have a great day.